Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft. I'm your host, Jeff Bell, and welcome back to part three of the Family Ties build. Hello. I, I do move, I swear. I'm standing up here on the staircase of this very... <laughs> Oh man, this build is just giving me some migraines. Um, so, what did I do off camera? Well, there's a couple little things we need to just kind of touch base on quickly for this episode before we get into the the meat of it, uh, which I'm not entirely sure still what we're going to do on today's episode. But either way, uh, what did I do last time or between uh, episodes? Uh, so, in last time we finished off the ground floor, I f went back through and I finished up all the ceilings. So, in all the rooms here, well, I'll come back to this in a second. All the rooms here have just the exact same. Uh, uh, look to them. I did the same kind of crown molding and then just kept the same ceiling. I, I couldn't care. The only room that does not have that tall ceiling is the bathroom. Uh, it's just a little narrower because this is such a tiny room that I felt that huge of a ceiling in this room would just feel completely useless. Usually bathrooms don't have vaulted ceilings like that. So, uh, But otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same. And yes, I've... Uh, the outside of this house. That is going to be just done entirely off of camera. I have decided that all the exterior design work for this house is just going to have to be done off camera because I have gone through probably six different designs. Um, I thought I had an idea for what I wanted this one to be, and I actually kind of started working on it off camera just to see how well it would work. Actually, this side will give you a better idea. So, um... <clears throat> This is nowhere near done, obviously, uh, but uh, the basic premise of this or basic concept that I was kind of going for is, you know, we use the like the white wool and then we just we use a lot of logs, kind of make it almost like a it's, it's not is that it's not medieval, uh, but just I don't it's something kind of more cozy, basically, is what I was trying to go for. Um, not entirely sure I like that. I originally wanted the front porch to be uh, a different texture, just so that way it off it would offset it. Um, I'm debating about whether we should make the entire ground floor brick and then just make the second story, which won't have actual rooms in it. It's just going to be a hollowed out uh, second floor. Um, whether we do that for the second floor, uh, you know, th this this kind of pattern, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out off camera, and maybe we'll include it in the time lapse of the next episode because the next episode will be the final episode for the Family Ties build. So. I'll figure it out, and uh, I'll have it ready next time, basically. Yeah, I can see I can kind of start it going through. Uh, now, on to the fun thing. Over here, if you'll notice, my wall's a little different. I, uh, I did some digging, and I found a mod that actually lets me do exactly what I wanted to, which I kind of figured there was. I, I was almost certain. So this is a normal full block of clay, full block of hardened clay next to each other. Remember, I was complaining about how thick it made the walls. So I found a mod that allows you to take slabs and basically turn them up on their side like that. It's really freaking hard, though, to get it to kind of work the way that uh, you want it to. And I'm just I'm just making pretty designs. Um, it sometimes doesn't like to angle off correctly if you click in the wrong spot. But either way, what it does is it allows us to take this thick wall and condense it down into a much more manageable, basically one block width. Now, here's the thing. This uh, this block is actually off-centered. See? that This is where the full block is. This is, uh, this is the back half of that one, and this is the front half of this one. What that means is this right here. <laughs> um, I didn't do it on all the walls, and here's the reason why. I'm actually kind of on the fence about using this mod, mostly because if I ever update my system uh, and uh, this mod breaks, my walls are going to be gone. Basically, it's going to delete all the walls in a build. So I'm kind of on the fence about using this. Uh, I have used it in just a couple spots right now on my on my test for the outside. So the brick here is is actually using it. Um, and, and, and this concept, this, this outside, cause it lets me use, basically it creates a slab here. I'll even show you. It creates a slab for every, basically every single thing in <clears throat> every single like block in the game. So, you know, we could actually do a slab of <clears throat> that 
as opposed to that, which is, is what it normally looks like. And what's cool is that when these uh, when you put two of them together, it actually just becomes a solid block. But I was trying it out on this, so that way we could have some more depth. So these are full blocks, and these are just a slab, just so that way it's not a flat um, a flat wall. Uh, if if I do use these, I'm gonna use it on the outside walls uh, only of this build because I'm not I'm not as concerned about the outside since we don't really know exactly what it looks like. I'm a little more concerned about the inside. But what it does is it does allow us to kind of give just you know some extra depth. It gives it gives it a thinner walls and allows us to kind of do these little um, you know sunken in portions. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of. I'm going to kind of figure out off camera again what I w wish to do with that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did find it. I found it. And I'm very happy about that. As are all the other people in this room. <laughs> so, anywho, um, today's episode. Well, let's see. So we have the entire first floor built. Um, I am... Uh, we still don't have the garage built. Oh, and here's, here's the other thing. Because of this mod, remember I was talking about maybe, maybe these are... Um, you know, these are like the wood supports on the inside. This mod actually also allows us to create these little, like, uh, quarter slabs. It, it not only gives you slabs of everything, but it gives you quarter slabs, and it actually gives you... Or, sorry, that's a half a slab. <laughs> I was thinking a quarter block. Um, it lets you do... Uh, uh, little uh little like half a half a slab but it also allows you to do a quarter slab see i was just i was just way ahead of myself um let's do one that you can actually see so like that so that means that you can kind of build little towers ah it lets you build little towers oh you you don't want to go you're just gonna keep all right we're, we're building an art installation here hold on you're gonna oh oh so now did you find a spot you liked you like it there what in the hell is going on? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anywho, so this block, this, this mod kind of lets you do that, which allows you to kind of create these little, you know, this, uh, maybe you wouldn't do them that often, maybe just like every other, so I knock that one out. I don't know, just some, some extra details. It's kind of cool. It actually works really well for, uh, like, mailboxes. That's not a mailbox. I have one over there in the Simpsons house I temporarily put in. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about this mod. Gonna, we're going to see what we're going to do. I don't... The big thing about this series is that I was building stuff in Minecraft that anybody could build uh, with a vanilla copy of Minecraft. I was just using the one mod that would allow me to build the walls faster. Uh, that's not necessary because everything in here would still just be full blocks, so anybody could technically copy this and just build their own. Um, so that's why I'm a little... Again, I'm on the fence about it. Anyways, all of that housekeeping finished, I think today we should at least get the walls up for where the second floor is going to be. Hmm, okay, so they would they would come in, and oh, this could just be, oh, this could just be the, oh man, no, because we, we want to split the rooms. If we do that, let's see here, make the hallway... We want to make the hallway... How big are our hallways? Words are tough. How big are our hallways downstairs? We want to keep a consistency. Three in the walls. Okay, so it's five blocks wide. This could be actually the closet for this a front bedroom. I picture there being a front room in here, so let's just build this out. Um, based upon the one photo I found of one of the bedrooms upstairs, that kind of feels right. So if this is the... If this is just, say, a closet um, for that bedroom... <clears throat> Oh, that bedroom's gonna get really freaking narrow. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, and then over like this. Oh man, that's gonna just completely negate my idea. I wanted to put like a little, uh, maybe like a little porch or a balcony on the back of the house here. Maybe we just, maybe we just go complete. You know what? It's already a huge house. They don't need a balcony on their bedroom. So how far we want to go down? I don't want to go the full length of the house. Actually, if anything. So I feel like the kitchen is off on its own. It's not going to have a room above the kitchen. How many kids were in this family? Hold on. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, there it is. There's only four. I can't count. You know what? We're just going to do what looks aesthetically pleasing, which means that the wall is going to end... Or Sorry, the second floor is just going to end about... We'll just end it on that wall right there. So the the kitchen is off on its own like this. That's just what we're going to do. Let me put these walls up and I'll be right back. And we're done. Okay, so all I kind of just did, I was uh, doing some extra little work here, trying to figure out how high up we want to make the second floor. The first floor is a lot taller. The second floor is going to be a little less 
tall because they are just bedrooms uh, not as big of vaulted ceilings so i was just trying to figure out if we use the half slabs how many we go up and i'm kind of Oops, if we decided to do this around the inside of the second floor, just like we did on the first floor, then we would still have enough space to, you know, feel like it's it, you got headroom and you're not just bouncing your head. Plus, also, I wanted to make sure that the windows that would go looking outside um, made sense. You know, we're in the right spot. They didn't feel too low. I, can, I, I hate it when windows are, like, on the ground floor, which this would be if we weren't using half slabs. I also don't like it when windows butt all the way up against that that just ugh, it just bugs me so that's a nice size it's a four you know four pane window um and i think it'll work really really well so and then i was just kind of testing out here's our ceiling in our rooms um yeah so here's our awesome stairs down we uh again because it's not practical uh there's so right now, this is where we're more or less at. Um, my th my thoughts is this is just going to be a, uh, a generic roof, which I'm going to build in a very quick time lapse next. And uh, over on this side would just be a slant. Or actually, it's probably its own roof. I haven't quite decided. I might actually bring it out in the middle to about halfway and then have it break off. Um, just so that way there's not a peak. So... Yes, I am going to do that all in a time lapse because it's going to be boring to watch. Uh, watch me figure out how to build a roof. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back as soon as that is finished. So uh, here we go.
All right, and we are back, and that was seriously ten times harder than it than it should have been. I really should have thought out the outside of this house well before actually doing it. Um, the time lapse that you saw is actually heavily edited. Uh, not only is this sped up by six hundred percent, I cut so much crap out of it. Basically, I had a really hard time deciding what was going to happen with this house. Also, here's a tip. When building a roof, make sure you have your outside walls in place. Uh, it, it, you, you probably saw it happen. Eventually, I just started building all the outside walls, mostly because, oh yeah, that's right. In order to know where the uh, overhang is going to be and where the eaves troughs are going to be, you need to know what your outside wall is. I was doing a lot of work based upon my inside wall and my lack of outside wall. That is why the outside wall, <laughs> except for some details and some tiny details uh, here and there, that's why the outside wall is pretty much finished. Um, except for that little back there. Shh, we'll pretend that you don't see that. Um, but yeah, be, uh, there was so much work that, that I, there's so many just tweaks and adjustments and redoing. Um, I knew I wanted to do this for the roof. Uh, I just kind of give it this... Uh, peaked tower just to, to kind of, you know, I didn't want it to be part, just a normal roof, and it kind of makes it actually not look that bad. Um, this is a gigantic house. Yeah, these people are, these people are flat out rich. They have a, easily a whole third floor. This is going to be just like, um, in, in my, in my opinion, this is going to be just like the Home Alone house. Uh, it's going to be just a massive structure. Plus, I also had some issues tying in the two different roof sizes into it, and I just uh, 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 I just don't even want to look at it. So, um, at the end of that time lapse, I did it. I did start building this, and I realized, you know what? Let's at least build something on camera for the last ten minutes of this episode. So, this is what I was kind of thinking. I don't want it to be like this. This house is very unique in the fact that I'm making it have three very different you know, kind of unique style of roofs. And that's kind of just, that's just, just to, just to keep it from being super duper boring. Now I'm going to try to do this. Also, I think within this build alone, uh, I'm not gonna worry about the corner pieces. I'm going to go back into it and do that later. Uh, but just within this build alone, I have decided I do not want you know what we're gonna do this is just, this is just way too much work. Um, I don't want the slap thing anymore. It is so friggin' annoying. And you you if if you were watching carefully in that time lapse, you probably saw me struggle with it. Um, it it was a nice idea. It was a nice concept. I I you know I dug I dug the idea that I could do like the the half walls, but placing them because they function exactly like a slab they are you know the slab and that piece are just one in the same they are very hard to tell the game hey guess what uh, this is supposed to be a slab or this is supposed to be a wall piece and it, it just it, it would it would bounce back and forth between them and just oh man i'm glad there was no audio during <laughs> during the time lapse because i got so so mad oh so often during that time lapse <laughs> so either way yeah i think i'm gonna uninstall that mod it's just not practical i you know what i now that i know i can do it i will uh maybe i'll give it some more time and maybe in the future um there'll be something better or maybe i can find another mod that works better but just right now that one is just not possible it's actually slowing way down it's slowing me way way down uh from my normal building speed at least in the time lapse that time lapse took me an hour over an hour almost an hour and a half and um then like i said i i, I heavily heavily trimmed it down um so in hindsight maybe this roof on the side because see i don't like i don't like the fact that there's just um I don't like that it's it's a I don't like that it's a, it's a flat roof up here. This could actually work really well. Uh, this is something that I've seen before in some homes. Um, mm -hmm. This could work as like a patio if there was a room in the attic. This would work as a really nice patio. Now since I did that there, I'm not wondering. Yeah, see right there. See what I'm talking about? Like if you you have to find the sweet spot in order to properly place, mm, properly place a slab. And that's just, 
I'm sure it's something that I could just get used to, but that's just kind of annoying. Eh, I just, I'm not digging it. Not when I need it. Not when I, you know, as I said earlier uh, in this episode, when I was worried about uh, if this mod ever went away or was no longer supported and now well, what's going to happen to all the upside you know the up the uh the vertical slabs it's just they're all going to go away and now so my buildings are going to just fall apart and i don't want that stress i want to have a nice building that uh that uh, or a nice little chunk of land that everybody enjoys um hmm. see i i want it to be even with this which kind of makes me feel like i need to do that Oh, 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 you went away. Okay, that's that's perfectly okay, game. Right, phase two. There we go. And we just do, 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 do. Yep. And then use that as a roof cap. I, I really do like using those, uh, just using a, a slab as a roof cap. It's kind of nice. If you can build your, uh, your building correctly, so technically... I don't like the double, I don't like this, this double wide one. I would have much preferred a single wide one. Um, the only, the only benefit is that it gives us a double wide window for the attic, but yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 let's do these corner pieces real quick, real quick, right? Like, oh, well then I probably should just put that. Nope. Just, yep. There you go. Hmm. Looks kind of thick. Looks kind of weird. Um, See, this would be a great time for me to use that corner piece, but I'm not gonna keep this mod. So no sense of bother putting it in there. So that there you go. That just it gives it just uh, you know it kind of it matches the 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 edge pieces there. So right now, man, I need to build that garage. <laughs> I'll just build the garage entirely off camera. Um, so actually, with that, that is the outside. That's the outside of the house. That's the the roofs put in. Missing some glass. Uh, missing just the the little tiny details here. Also, I am planning on going back in through and putting more of the wood structure support beams, kind of just on the corners and some in, you know just maybe in some key locations, just to kind of finish up the design. Um, besides that, I didn't do any additional work inside. The inside of the house is very much so just a giant cave of wonders uh the lamp is somewhere in here uh if you look carefully that was an aladdin joke for those who don't don't know aladdin i didn't date myself did i holy cow um but yeah so this is kind of the general structure of the house based upon just a first floor blueprint i, it, I you know what it's not that bad you know I've, i'm really i'm really kind of i'm really kind of digging it I um for considering I had zero knowledge of what the outside of this house looks like, it's not bad. Is there things I would do differently? Yeah, uh, definitely would have structured and figured out the width of the or the depth of the house, um, for that to work a little better. And then I also am not a huge fan of how thick this wall is. It's it's just it's off balance. I did leave just this gap just to kind of give it some more detail. In, uh, in in this front mudroom, but I, I don't like that it's three on this side and one on that side. It just looks off balance. I would have much rather it been here, which would have then meant that the entire, uh, this back section of the house would all be slid over to. I am just not, I just not, I can't, I'm not going to do that. Not now, not when it's, it's, it's kind of in place and structured. You know what I don't like? I don't like that that, hmm. I don't like that that's there. You know, I did this for a reason, but maybe I was wrong because I was just starting to get a little frustrated with this. So maybe we just do that. Yeah, you know what? That looks much better. All right, so now it's only two. I can I can maybe deal with two um, <laughs> for now. So what is next time on this build? Well, next time it is strictly going to be just the final finishing touches uh just detail work we're gonna we're gonna do, I'll probably start off the episode with just some like a quick uh maybe time lapse just to showcase for or just to show off finishing up these tiny little details on the outside and then we will bust inside and build some of the some of the furniture just on the ground floor nothing up on the second floor again because I, I don't have any photographs of that and uh yeah and then we will be done that'll be the end of the family ties build um Marty McFly, who I, I I'm sorry, I finally looked up who 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 commented and who who left that uh, message. I am a horrible horrible host of my own show. Um, 
I do appreciate you leaving the suggestion this, and I'm hoping this is kind of okay. You know, man, this was a this was a tough build. I just completely destroyed that door. Where is a door? <laughs> Hold on. Um, this was a tough build. I I am I'm not gonna lie, and it was a lot harder than I think I initially expected it to be. You know, we're just looking at some blueprints, and and again, there for a while, it was just going to be just a set. Uh, also, not on fire. So that's a good thing. Um, but it was just going to be a it was just going to be a set. I wasn't planning on doing the entire house and uh, was not prepared to do the entire house like I thought I was. But uh, you know what? It's it's not bad. It gives you the it gives you the right idea. It's it's close enough to the the house as close as we can uh, in Minecraft, basically. So uh, this was kind of a challenge. This was this was definitely <laughs> this was definitely fun. No lie there definitely no lie all right and with that folks that's the simpsons house we already built that one um i am going to leave it there for today's episode where's a good point of view to be looking at maybe uh maybe right there yeah we'll put me will put me right there. All right, everybody. So I think that is it for today's episode. Uh, if you'd like the if you like the show or if you like the show in general uh, or today's episode or, or any of that stuff, please just feel free to hit the like button. I, I like to know people are actually watching and remotely enjoying my ramblings and frustrations and <laughs> lack of Minecraft skills. Uh, it makes me feel all warm and tingly inside. Yeah, warm and tingly. <laughs>